Motivated, I'm the truth going hard in the booth. All my dreams is coming true. If I can make it, you can too. Wasn't in the skipping school, had to play by the rules. If you got dreams, don't be a fool. The process make it even cool. Gotta really pay attention. That right there is tunnel vision. Can't be falling, can't be slipping. This world full of competition. If right, you so really what's up, what's up, everybody? Welcome to um ISO versus the world podcast. Um this is expansion team week six. Yeah, yeah, week six. Now I mean this is expansion team episode for week six. Now I mean I got my um brother Woods on the line. What's going on with you, brother? Ain't much, man. Everything is good. Getting ready for this game tonight, another Phillies game. Okay, it's a Phillies it's a it's a Phillies game tonight. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Game two. Okay, right, right. I um, mean, good luck to them. Is it here in Philly? Or is that is that is that in Atlanta? No, it's still in Atlanta. Okay, yeah. yeah be back in Philly, I think Wednesday and Thursday. All right, yeah, yeah. Because I ain't see a lot of traffic today. I thought, no, no I mean, if days here, I, I'd have been seen. I'd have been seeing more traffic. But uh, all right, man. Um, um, let me start the show by saying. Everything starts with the Earning ISO podcast. So we like to thank everybody for the love and support we get from the Earning ISO podcast. Because without that podcast, you know what I mean? This podcast wouldn't even exist. So I for y'all to always like, share, comment, subscribe, rate, review. Um, as not, not me, as we done said a million times, we're gonna say a million more. We try to consolidate our plays. So please listen to us on the major, which Earn has been letting me know that. Our numbers have been growing, so people have been doing that. So, 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 I, so I really appreciate that. Um, finally, got the uh, the issues. What What does that mean? You always say uh, major. Um, what you mean by that? A major is like is like Apple, Spotify, iHeart. A major is like a major that 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 gives you account for your plays, because what happens is right okay. as we get bigger and get more popular. Other like websites and stuff like that, other apps, other websites, take your podcast and put it on their website so people can listen to it over there because they're trying to get people to come mm. to their website. But all those websites aren't like quote unquote official websites. You see what I'm saying? Mm. Or they might be startup yeah. stories. They can't. They can't give you. They can't give you no numbers. It's like I can go to Apple or Spotify or somewhere like iHeart or something like that. Pandora or something like that, and you can you know, ask them, they'll tell you how many plays you get, and you can get your numbers, you know what I'm saying? Some of these websites, you're, mm-hmm. getting, you're getting like thousands of plays, but they're not really acknowledged as real websites and stuff, and I mean stuff like that, you know what I mean? So, 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 yeah, so this whole I podcast is a number game, so, you know what I mean? We ask everybody to go listen to us at least one time on a major, you know what I mean? Some, 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 like some people got, this like, is is websites out there, man, if you, if you put in our podcast, it's like you can scroll down, and it's like it's so many it's it's so many websites out there. I don't even know, but we getting like thousands. We getting like thousands and thousands of plays on the websites, like thousands. You now I mean, not like a little bit, like thousands. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You getting like thousands, but they not gonna count if it's not mm. on a major. You know what I'm saying? They don't they don't they don't really count to our collective. You know what I'm saying? When we act, when we 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 try to figure out. Okay, how many plays did we get this, this not, not I mean this month? All those plays don't count to our collective. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? The only ones on, on, on places like Apple, Spotify, iHeart, and all that type of stuff, Amazon, those are the plays that count. But you talking about you probably getting hundred we probably getting hundreds of thousands of plays on other plays, you know what I'm saying, on other platforms that we don't get no count for. You know what I'm saying? But we started so since we started gotcha, telling gotcha. People, since we started telling people to do that, they have been doing it. Because our plays start going up and up and up, you know what I mean. So um, we appreciate the people for that. So, I mean, we do appreciate the people for doing that for us, man. Um, like you said, man, the, I mean, the people have spoken that they don't really, they don't really feel like hearing a recap. You know what I'm saying too much is you not know I mean because they whole thing is, if they won, they won. If they lost, they lost. You know what I'm saying? So. Now, I mean, the reason why I always wanted you to do the recap is yeah. because you kind of breaking down how a team lost and how a team won. You see what I'm saying? 
He was kind of breaking that down. So people uh-huh. have, so people have more of an understanding about, you know what I'm saying, everything that's going on. But I, I guess I don't know. I guess I guess I guess the majority of people were just like, man, chalk it. You know what I'm saying? If they won, they won. If they lost, they lost, and they just ready to move on. So, you know what I mean? So that way. Gotcha. And then I mean, that don't really that don't really bother me too much because that's probably making the show like shorter. Now, now, now I'm saying instead of the instead of the show dragging on. You know what I mean? So, uh-huh. so I kind of understand that. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, of, cut, cut it down in half, basically. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, kind of cut it down in half. So, uh, before we get into uh, the week six picks, you know what I mean? One, I want to ask you about, um, I do got to ask you about, well, you know, my team won. It, not, 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 I mean, the Eagles won. That's why I got the, <laughs> for, for everybody who, 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 who watching the video, that's why the sign say brotherly shove. Because that's our thing, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I'm going to enjoy that. I'm going to enjoy that play this year because they probably going to find a way to ban that play. You know what I'm saying? In a minute. <laughs> I mean, they ain't yeah. going to let us keep doing that. Can't nobody else figure out how to, how to do it right. You know what I mean? We can't be the only ones. So, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, you know what I mean? I'm expecting that. You know what I mean? The yeah. offseason, they probably going to get rid of that, Joe. They probably going to say we can't even do that play no more. Now I mean, gonna find some reason to say we can't do that, but um, now I mean, now I mean we got right. the win. <laughs> now I mean we got the win. Um, I'm just I'm just gonna enjoy the win. I was a little nervous there because I think I said that, you know, I I wasn't I wouldn't have been surprised if we lost this game, you know what I mean? But we did, but we did mm-hmm. end up winning the game. So now I mean I'm thankful for that. So you know I can't complain. We five and zero, but now I mean I did notice that now I mean your team. You know what I mean? They ain't. <laughs> know what I mean, how you feel about that game y'all played? Yeah. Yeah, you, you know this. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, what can I say, man? We got to ask fucking kid. Um, every year, just they just let me down. I feel like Will Smith from First Prince went waiting for his pop, you know what I mean, to take off fishing. And he just every year, we just disappointed. You know what I mean? It's just a horrible feeling, man. I thought we was going to win this game because it's regular season. So I kind of had high hopes. Because, you know, Dak, I won't trust in the playoffs. But I damn sure will trust him in the regular season for certain games. And I thought it's just a game we always come out and prove that we was going to uh, be able to hold on. But we ain't even show up, man. We lost for the starting whistle. They was more physical than us. They just showed they better better than us in every position. I mean, it's embarrassing, man. I just I lost hope, man, for my team, man. Mm. To keep it, keep it, keep it on it. Mm. Nah, man. Nah, man. You ready to just chalk? You ready to just throw the whole season away? Nah, man. You on your skip bellis right now? You know what I mean? You just <laughs> it is what it is, man. You, I, I already had uh, you know trepidations about that. I already knew we couldn't really perform in the playoffs, but. Uh, I don't know this just kind of sealed it, and we don't got enough playmakers on wide receiver, or at least it's, we're not able to get the ball to make them be playmakers. Like uh, it's just look, I just don't see a lot of hope for us because our defense, are, I definitely believe in, but it's just that man, and you can't win no championship. You don't got no quarterback that can, you know, be outstanding in the playoffs. Even Nick Foles is outstanding in the playoffs, and that motherfucker backup. So. I mean, I just, I lost hope, man. Whatever they do, they do. And um, I just not expecting too much. Let's just put it like that. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah, man. So, hey, man. I ain't get to. I ain't get. <laughs> I ain't get. I ain't get no, nah, I mean, I ain't get to watch the whole game because, nah, I mean, like I said, not, nah, nah, I mean, me and um, me and Ern was recording some, but you know, I, no, nah, nah, I mean, I looked at the score. The score was like 42-10 or something like that. I was like, damn, okay. You know what I mean? So, I mean, like I say, you know what I mean? A loss for anybody in our division is like a win for us. So, you know what I mean? So, you know. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, y'all, y'all sitting good right now. Y'all sitting mighty high up the top of the division mountain. So, enjoy wild ass. Y'all look damn good. And I can't say shit about y'all. Uh, so... I just gotta be humble, uh, and just 
just nothing like I can say. It's bad day today. I just we got an ass whoop. Man, we show up. So I'm defeated right now as a Cowboys fan. Okay. All right. So uh, all y'all cow not, not I mean all y'all Cowboys fans, know what I mean that's why a lot of y'all listen. Now I mean y'all ain't listening for me. Y'all listening because y'all Cowboys fans and, and Woods is a Cowboys fan. So now I mean hopefully now I mean y'all got the same sentiment as him, man. Y'all already just now y'all just call it quits this season, man. Now I mean get y'all well, out there. I mean, well, I mean yeah, I mean we put it like that. I mean call it quits and all that. I just know at the end of the day we probably won't win no championship, but. I mean, we still gonna be a problem for for motherfuckers. Like, you know, Dak still like put up good numbers against the Eagles and all that shit. Who knows what can happen when the year keep on? But as of now, I'm just it's just a bad day, man. That's all. It's a day after we got our ass whooped, and I'm just I'm feeling down now. That's all. But come on, let me on Sunday. My feelings might be turned around. You know what I mean? Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right, man. Yeah, man. Um. Yeah, man. I keep y'all in my prayers, man. You know what I mean, I keep y'all, I keep, okay. keep, keep y'all my prayers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I mean, so, mm. so you know what I mean. Other than that, um, what else? What else? What else did I want to talk about? <laughs> Something else happened. God, we talked about positive. Is uh, the person right here? Got to cheer up my spirits a little bit. Yeah. Um. Damn. Damn. I just. It done slipped my mind what I was going what I, what I, what I was gonna ask you about. Oh man. Um did you see the um did you see any of the um the interview with um with Shannon Sharp and Marshawn Litch? Do you see any of that? I saw a little clips, um so I didn't really watch it. Uh, I just seen clips about how I'm talking about damn um, talking about Aaron Rodgers, a teammate, and then I Heard he's talking about Russell Wilson and stuff like that, but I didn't really, I didn't see the interview though. Yeah, yeah. So the whole thing about parts. him talking about like Russell Wilson about how like, you know what I mean? They re- they really wasn't like close and all that, but you know he was a teammate or whatever. And I mean, mm-hmm. I wanted to ask you that. I wanted to ask you, did you ever feel like that? And about your teammates was like, he he on the team, but he really don't hang out and like rock with us like that. Now I mean like 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 you may have a teammate mm-hmm. that don't hang out with y'all after the game and nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? He just like the only time y'all around each other yeah. is when y'all just playing ball. And other than that, he really don't even like he don't hang with us or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? He just like off to himself. Not 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 I mean the second like the mm-hmm. game is over or practice is over or whatever. Just like outside of the locker room or outside of the game, he don't really like. Hang out, you know what I'm saying? Like how you see like people of a football, not, not many people on the same team, they'll like hang out outside of it. No, 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 I'm saying hang out outside with each other, stuff like that. And he said yeah. that he wasn't that type of person. So, did you yeah. ever like play with people like that? Uh, I've never really encountered as far as I mean, definitely had teammates that, um, you know, they're just different culturally and all that. So, they do their thing, we do, we do our thing. But nobody of like Russell Wilson, as far as just his uh, he a star on a team and just a that important position on a team. Like I never had that as far as uh like uh, somebody of that prominent role being so distant from the team. It was, if somebody was like that, it was a, a defensive tackle, offensive guard, or I don't know somebody that's not a quarterback. But um, I I mean, I think I'd say it's not too too much of a big deal. Like Kobe was like that. When people go out clubbing, he ain't really going clubbing too much. He probably went out uh, maybe a few times with his team or something to go out partying. But that motherfucker was fucking just in the gym all, all day. I remember I watched that Dream Team documentary and they talking about how they went out clubbing or whatever and they came back the next morning and they seen on their the way back from the party Kobe going to the gym and shit like that. Like, he ain't go out with him. But it's, I mean, it just... Um, I don't really look too much into it. I just think that um, that Super Bowl that Coach Carroll was trying to force Russell Wilson to be the MVP, make him throw the ball down at the goal line and shit like that. And that kind of just fucked up everything. But I don't think you really got to be great friends with everybody. And as long as you respect each other on the field, um, I mean, what I want to say next, I guess, might hurt my argument. Like, you got to have each other back. So, 
I guess if you saying if you don't hang out with them, then people might say, well, I might be back. I don't really be fucking them like that. But I don't know. I, I just think as long as you respect them as a player, uh, everybody goes out and work as hard as the next person. Um, I don't think that shit's a matter. I mean, if you don't hang out with them or anything like that. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just wanted to know what you thought about that. You know what I mean? Since since you played on, you know what I mean, teams and all that type of stuff, somebody who might not, who like, okay, I'm around when it's time to play football. Other than that, I ain't really going to be around y'all at all. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like off to myself. I just do my own thing. You know what I'm saying? So, all right, yeah, man. Um, yeah. I, I don't think that should matter. You know what I mean? What, you think that should matter? No, nah, I mean, I just wanted to know what your opinion about it was because I listened to what he was saying. I listened to what Marshawn Lynch was saying. And I guess, uh, I don't know. I guess that was, I don't know. Maybe if like, Maybe that situation would have been different because he said he didn't rock with Pete Carroll neither. You see what I'm saying? So I think that had more mm-hmm. to play. That had more to play into it than him, than him and Russell um, Russ. So you know what I'm saying? I, I uh-huh. just I thought because it's like all right, everybody not going to be we not going to be buddy buddy. We just on the same team. So as long as we on the same page and do everything on the on the field, and not me long we on the same team. All right, I may not kind of like be. Mm-hmm. I may not be the person that want to hang out with y'all all the time or hang out with people at all. You see what I'm saying? But as long mm-hmm. as like you feel like you can depend, yeah. you can depend on me when you're on that field. That's all that should matter. I think that that him not even having like right. a relationship and all that. Well, I think he was the same way with with the head coach is what probably did it worse. Now, I mean, just a trickle down effect and really Russ probably getting the mm-hmm. most of that. And really, that was probably you just. Now, I mean, you and Pete Carroll just didn't see eye to eye. He just. You know what I'm saying? He just, he just, it was just like, okay, he 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 on his team, and he dope, so I'm gonna use him. But I really don't have no, 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 no type of, no type of relationship or nothing like that with the head coach. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? So I guess it's like yeah. that sometimes too. Sometimes you you may not even have a super great relationship with the head coach, but as long as the man coaching right and y'all doing what y'all got to do, you know what I mean? I don't, mm-hmm. I don't know. I just seem like. Now, let me just seem like Russ got the worst of that because that, you know, at the end of the day, Pete Carroll probably favored probably favored Russell over um over Marshawn Lynch, which if that's your quarterback, at the end of the day, the quarterback is the number one position. You know what I'm saying? So so whose side would you be yeah, in? You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. So what's the more important position? You know what I'm saying? What's harder to find? A de- not a decent running back or a decent quarterback. You know right. what I'm saying? So if I was, I understand why he might have been like, okay, I'm on the mm-hmm. side of, I'm on the side of, but I'm on, I'm on the side of the quarterback. So yeah, we are gonna treat him different and treat him, you know what I'm saying, a little bit better than everybody else because the quarterback is is gonna be hard to find. You know what I'm saying? Not to say Marshawn right. wasn't dope, but like, you know how hard it is to find a quarterback. You know what I mean? Y'all see right now in the NFL that how hard it is to find a quarterback. You know what I'm saying? No, oh, right. the NFL is like the best of the best. Now I mean, you can see that. You know what I'm saying? You can see that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? How hard it is to play that position. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I just wanted to ask you that, man. But, um, oh, also, um, Colorado won against, I think, played Arizona State. They yeah. won. Yeah. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? They won, on, they, 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 they won, but it wasn't the same type of hype. You see what I'm saying? That it's been. Yeah. Now, I mean, it wasn't the same type of hype that is. Well, they took two losses in a row, right? They, right. They, they, then they lose two in a row. Please. Right. Right. But, um, yeah, man, that's what, like, the whole. And that's what the thing I was saying about the whole thing of everybody on the bandwagon. Because where are these people at now? You know what yeah. I'm saying? Where's, where's a lot of these people at now? You know what I'm saying? It don't seem like, okay. Now it seems like okay that the, 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 the NFL is starting to be like being gear and stuff like that now. So now it's not it's not all about Colorado no more right now. You know what I'm saying? Even though they still doing their thing. You know what I mean? Because remember a couple weeks ago, mm-hmm. remember a couple weeks ago, that's all you seen was Colorado. Now, now it's all about goddamn t- Taylor Swift coming to football <laughs> games now. Now I mean now we just on the next thing right now. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Now I mean, so that's my yeah, whole yeah. thing. Now I mean, my yeah. whole thing is now I'm saying still ride with them. Now I mean, if you was riding with them, now I mean, hope you hope they very successful. Now I'm saying everybody just playing football. Now I'm saying, but somebody got to win, somebody got to lose. So, 
Yeah, I just wanted to say that because that just yeah 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 because like it wasn't the same as how it was a few weeks ago. You see what I'm saying? It's like everybody jump on the bandwagon. Yeah, and... I mean, I, I, I'm still rocking with them. It's just that you know uh, I'm definitely rooting for Theon and all that. I guess it's for the wise. You know, they just got to stay on the next thing as far as, you know, they this Taylor Swift is uh, the, the, the new thing on the block and Kyle two in a row. So, I mean, I understand why you don't really see that much coverage of them, but, I mean, Deion's name is still hot in these streets. Um, he's still going to be a great recruiter and all that. I mean, he just, you know, I guess if they went four or five in a row, they can lose again. But for now, they're just taking the back seat, which is – might be a good thing. He might got to get his team, humble his team a little bit or something. I don't know. Maybe, not, maybe that's not the right word, but he got to get his team reined in and get them ready to showcase how much more dominant they are than these other teams. Because Arizona State, that's the team that they should have, you know, got by double digits. But, uh, you know, I think they just got to get their shit together a little bit. You know, Deion said they played like hard, hot garbage, I believe. He wasn't impressed the way they played. And, they gonna get their shit together. They went four in a row. They be back in the media news and all that shit again. All right, yeah. So, um, so all right. So we ain't gonna do no recap then. Now we gonna see how this go without the recap. You know what I mean, I, I, uh -huh. people talking about they don't care about the recap, but then I already know when you put the joint out. But what happened to the recap? I need to be man. Listen, man. Y'all either want the recap or y'all don't. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Now I mean, y'all saying that, well, if y'all ever won, y'all won. If y'all lost, y'all lost. Y'all just want us to move on. All right, cool. That's what we're going to do. You know what I'm saying? So so right now, we're going to do, um, this is, um, this is week, we doing week six right six. now, right? Now I'm saying we, now we're going to, uh, week six right now, you know what I mean? So, you know, um, now I mean, you can start when you're ready. All right. Game Thursday night, we got Denver Broncos at Kansas City Chiefs, Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, Chiefs are minus 10 and a half point favorites. Total is 49. Uh, division games, you know, they always usually close. Thursday night game, short rest, all that jazz. Um, Kansas City, I think, will win, but I might rock out with the 10 and a half with the Denver because it's division. Even though, like, I always, I, I just can't stand Sean Payton and Russell Wilson. I don't, uh, them two together, I don't know. I just don't like Sean Payton. He really irks the shit out of me. So I really don't like betting on him. But that would be my bet to ride out with the division uh, with the underdog to keep it close. But I'm not all the way down with that. But I mean, let's see who, let's see Kansas City. They, they're going to win it and they're going to keep things rolling. And Denver, they're going to just keep losing as usual. They looking at like twelve losses this year, probably. They just look shitty. Okay, you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? You expecting it to be what everybody else thinks things are gonna be. Kansas City just gonna roll over them. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, yeah, that's what I think. You know what I mean? I don't know. I, I mean I mean <laughs> can, can, Kansas City ain't looking like no world beaters, you know what I'm saying? They they not they not looking like mm -hmm. super dominant like they no 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 I mean like like everybody's used to them looking, but um, they still got the you know best quarterback in the game. So, you know, yeah. I mean, I'm expecting them to win that. I mean, I'm expecting them to win that, but you never, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? You know, they look human yeah. now. Nobody I mean, they, they don't they don't look unstoppable like how they used to look unstoppable. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I mean, but I still yeah, expect them sure. to win. But you know what I mean, you never know. You know what I mean, so all right, yeah. All right, so uh, we got another game in London. Uh, Baltimore playing against Tennessee, nine thirty in the morning. Uh, Baltimore three and a half point favorites. Total forty and a half. Um, I think Baltimore are gonna come out and um, win this game. I usually Tennessee games. I usually love taking the unders, but I'm not gonna fuck with the uh, total. But I think Baltimore are gonna win. I like them to bounce back. Last week they ain't ready. Perform that way they they should have performed a lot of drop passes. Uh, Lamar Jackson had a terrible interception uh, near the end of the game to give Pittsburgh that chance to uh, win. Uh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go out Pittsburgh by Tennessee three and a half. That's a good number. 
I mean, he, he, he the one 20 to 17 Baltimore, Tennessee will cover the spread, you know what I mean? So that three and a half is a tricky number right there. That's a good number for underdogs, usually. Mm. Okay. No, I mean, I agree with that. No, I mean, they should they they should win, even though I can't I don't I don't like I don't like them games, man, because I I'm like them joints be them joints be a little them joints be a tad too early, you know what I mean? Wake up the game already be on, that be throwing me off, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? That be throwing I kinda me like off. it. I ain't I ain't think I like it, but I kinda like it, man. Just just get a game as soon as I wake up, just already on. It's, Kind of fucks with it. Yeah, because my thing is, and I'm saying, um, I play, I I play fantasy, but I don't, but I don't play, I don't play in like no fantasy league. I play week to week, so you know, Sunday morning is when I get up, is when I do my picks. I don't do my picks till Sunday. You know what I mean, I don't do my picks till mm-hmm. like Sunday morning. You know what I'm saying? I wake up, and of course, you know what I mean? I can't. Know what I mean, know what I mean, you can't, you can't pick them players because the game is on. That 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 game already going on, so. Yeah, know yeah. What I mean? that's just my little ritual. What I do, know what I mean, I just pick when I pick. When I wake up on Sunday, I like to make my picks. Know what I mean, know a few a couple hours before the games come on. And I just don't like the fact that the game already be on. Know what I mean, I wouldn't mind an early game, but I just the game already be on. Kind of like when you on like the West Coast, and the game be starting like. Uh-huh. Know what I mean, the game, the games like already be on. You know what I'm saying? When it, when mm-hmm. you when wake up, the games you on like ten o'clock in the morning or something like that. I wouldn't mind that, but when you waking up, on to wake up, the game is already on. When you wake up, I'm like, man, all right, that's a little too early for me. <laughs> but all right, yeah, all right, all right. Next we got Watson going to Atlanta. Atlanta's two and a half point favorites. Total is forty two. Uh, Desmond Ritter undefeated at home. I seen his stat undefeated at home for his college career, professional career. He ain't lose yet. Um, that's a game that's, that could go either way. I guess I might uh, rock out with Washington just because of the way that they looked last Thursday. If they got any type of heart, you know, Magic Johnson called them out. He's he like minority owner now. Called them out on Twitter and saying they ain't show up to play, shit like that. So I'm just thinking, you know, if they got any type of heart, they're going to show up and um, give it a good, a good – a good showing. So I'm gonna rock out with Washington to win a game, to cover the spread and win a game for this one. Yeah, man. I think I think also they're gonna win a game. They just I think they just bound to they bound to win a game and this is probably the one that they're gonna end up winning. Um even though that pains me to say that. And I mean I hope they lose, but Yeah. You know what I mean? But I think they're gonna end up winning too. You know what I mean? But as far as the whole magic Johnson you, the, the the thing the thing that got me is all right, the the my man that owned the Raiders and Tom Brady, they also own like the WNBA team, the Las Vegas Aces or whatever they call them. They own yeah, that team. Brady they own that team too. Him. I know Brady got some part of it. I don't know if the you saying the Raiders own it, Mark Davis. Yeah, he, he own it. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't even know that they that 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 they they own that team too. I mean, so you hey, own, man. I mean, so you so you own a football team and the WNBA basketball team. You know what I mean, nothing wrong with that. I mean, if I'm not mistaken, because I I think I think that's what the picture said. It showed them sitting together at the at the game at the WNBA game, and he said the owners. You know what I mean? Even okay. though, yeah, yeah, the owners. I was like, that they own that team too. I was like, okay, all right, man. Hey, man. You know I mean, nothing wrong it. with that. All right. All right. All right, next we got Minnesota at Chicago. Minnesota is minus three point favorites. Total is 46 and a half. Um, Jefferson's status, you know, he got hurt in the game yesterday. So I'm not going to make no petition about it, about this, uh, due to the fact I don't know if Justin Jefferson going to play. If he don't play, I will rock out with Chicago. They look good in that sweet. Um, but. Like I said, I got no opinion because I don't know if Justin Jefferson gonna play or not. Mm. Um, yeah, if he ain't gonna play, to me that might be up in the air. Because, yeah, you kind of uh, that that to me that game is up in the air because if he ain't playing, who knows? You know what I mean, Chicago because this time, this time that quarterback looked like you know what I mean that quarterback looked really good. Like he know what he's doing. He just ain't got the. 
They just can't. They just can't get it all together. So, so who knows, man? You now what I mean, yeah, yeah. I think I think that game could go either way. I really do think that game could go either way. So I can't call that game neither. I don't. Yeah, because you would people would just automatically think that the Vikings would just win that game, but I don't think so. I don't think it's just an mm-hmm. autom- I, don't, I don't think it's just an automatic win. For some reason, you know what I'm saying for some reason I just don't think it's just an automatic win. So, you know what I mean? Whatever y'all people. Know what I mean? Decide to do, man. Know what I'm saying it's up to y'all, cause I don't. That's just me. I don't think that this is an automatic win, win, win for the Vikings. Like how you would just usually would just think, okay, the Vikings gonna win that one. I don't think it's gonna be that easy for them. So, so yeah, know what I gotcha. mean. So that's all I gotta say about that one. So, all right, we got Seattle going to Cincinnati. Uh, Cincinnati's minus two and a half point favorites. Total is forty six. Cincinnati looked great against Arizona last week. Yeah. Uh, Seattle, they looked great against New York Giants last week. So these two teams coming off uh, good games. Um, it's, I'm still, I don't know. I'm still hesitant on Cincinnati, but, you know, I'm just going to go off of last week game. They look real good. If T. Higgins don't play, then that's going to, I don't know, that might fuck up things because they threw the ball to Jamar Chase like 19 times. And, I would like to think that that won't happen in two times, two weeks in a row. Like Seattle will do whatever they can to stop Chase. And if T. Higgins don't play, then who else are they really going to go to? I've seen they had this white ball, Irving, that receiver. I mean, he, he ain't no Wes, Wes Welker. Um, the other boy, they got Tyler Boy. I don't know. He's hit or miss sometimes. Mm. So it, I don't know. I've really got no pain right now because I don't know if T. Higgins going to play. If, if you do play, then I'll rock out with Cincinnati. If you don't, then I might think Seattle might go in there and get up to so win. Yeah, man. Um, see, 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 that's what I'm talking about. I've been picking Jamar Chase, and in the week I don't pick him, he scored like <laughs> three touchdowns. You know what I'm saying? Crazy, right? I mean, that's <laughs> see, that's that's the backwards nonsense that I'm talking about. I knew that was going to happen. I knew, I knew one of the weeks that I don't pick him, that's the week he's going to go off. And sure enough, I yeah. did I did showing up. I did not pick him. He had three touchdowns. Now, <laughs> I did all right. You know what I'm saying? I did good for fantasy, but I usually always pick Jamar Chase. I always pick mm. him. You know what I'm saying? I usually always pick him. You know what I mean? I usually pick him as one of our receivers like every week. The week that I don't, mm. that's when he scored three times. You know what I'm saying? So Wow. That's what's gonna happen with Kyle Pitts. Are you still picking that Nick that ball? No, I know. No. No, 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 I don't pick him, but then I think that or no, I mean, because what it is is his price is low. You know what I'm saying? On there. So, so, so sometime when I so 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 that's why I was picking him because I was just like, man, he bound to have a good, good game. He bound to have now he bound to have one. You know what I mean? He bound to have yeah. one. And then he just he just really just don't. Like they really just like, I don't know if they I don't know what's going on with them, but like, they they just they just don't care for the position. The position is not a priority to them, or what? I don't know. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? But need an Algie Comper. That's what they want. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my thing. I'm like, I'm like, you got somebody that's supposed to be like that. The hype, the hype on him was that he was going to be end up being being one of the best tight ends in the league or whatever. And I mean that that he was that talented. And it's like y'all just don't. Mm-hmm. That team's like seem like they just don't care nothing about him. Like I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's him. Or just the team, just like I don't know. I mean, if they know something we don't know, like I don't mm-hmm. know. I mean, I don't know because for 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 all, for all the hype that he got for him, not to like barely even get the ball even thrown to him, like they don't even care about him. I don't know. That's just weird to me. They got to know something that we don't know. You know what I mean? So right, right, right. So all right, yeah. All right. Uh, next we got San Francisco. They're going to Cleveland. San Francisco is minus four and a half point favorites. Total is 38 and a half. Uh, this game right here, I think Cleveland can, can win this game if the strong Washington is, is playing. It's like the old, you know, week to week, you know, ebbs and flow of the season type of shit. Miami scores 70 points. What happened next week? They lose. Mm-hmm. Buffalo show up a lot for Miami because they was all hype. Next week they lose. Mm-hmm. Uh, San Fran. Put all that energy out to bust out his ass. I don't know. I think this one might catch up to him. They got to travel to Cleveland. I'm picking Cleveland to cover at least a four and a half point spread, but I think they're going to win a game, give San Fran their first loss. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
Yeah, man. Yeah, man. This is one of these um, games that I, I mean, I understand what you're saying. I miss what, what a lot of people call a trap game. Like, yo, they 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 bound to, you know what I'm saying? Don't be surprised if mm-hmm. San Fran lose the game. You know what I mean? A lot of people call a game like this a trap game. Like, you know what I mean? Because of how they won yesterday, but then it's like they bound to come down to earth. Now, I mean, this might be the team where they might make a few mistakes, get a few turnovers, and they might end up losing. You know what I mean? I mean, who knows? It could, yeah. it could, it could be, it could be a close game. It could be 21-24 or something like that. You know what I mean? 17-20. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They ain't saying it's gonna be some shootout or something like that. But they could, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they did lose. I wouldn't be surprised if this is like a trap game for them. That it's like, okay, just the way the season flowing that they was they was bound to lose one of these games coming up, you know what I'm saying? And they just end up losing the game. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't think it's gonna be like a joke. They just get completely dominated, but it might be one of them games where both teams is, is like turnovers, you know what I'm saying? They throwing somebody throwing mm-hmm. some interceptions or somebody fum, fum, is fumbles going on and you know what I mean? They mess around and lose by like a field goal or something like that. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be yeah, you're right. I wouldn't be surprised if this is like a trap game for them. You know what I'm saying? But right. you know, I know everybody gonna think, assuming that San Francisco, everybody's saying San Francisco is the best team in the NFL. But I would not be surprised if what you know what I mean if this is what people call a trap game. So you're right. I wouldn't be surprised if they lost this game. Right. That's if the strong Washington play. If he don't play, he ain't play last Cleveland game. And uh, San Francisco should be win. Yeah. If anything, I like. I also I also like the under. I like both defenses. Uh, Cleveland defenses. Um, I don't really think they get a lot of publicity. They're they're really really good. Jim Schwartz got on playing real good, and we all know San Francisco defense is real good. So I also like the under. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. We got New Orleans at Houston Texans. New Orleans is minus one and a half point favorites. Total was 41 and a half. Um, Houston just coming off a loss. Um, New Orleans showing, coming off a win. Um, this is for the day, the, the, the car game, the car bowl. You know, Derek Carr, he's playing for his, his uh, brother David Carr. He used to play in uh, Houston. So it might be a lot of emotion for Derek Carr to go in there and get a win for his brother. Uh, Houston been playing really, really good. I like both these team defense, so I would look towards the under. But you know, the number, the total number is kind of high. I would think it would be like thirty-eight, thirty-nine, or something like that. So it's kind of telling me that the game might be uh, going over that total because Vegas going to try to sucker people in and you know saying, "Oh, they look kind of sweet right there." But the under, um, yeah, I'm gonna rock up with New Orleans though. I think. New Orleans will go in there. I like the offensive receivers. I think they'll be able to put up a little bit of points on them. And like I said, Derek Carr, he's going to go in there and move on first, bro, bro. Yeah. Um, yeah. Shoot, they just won against the Patriots, right? Patriots ain't score a point, right? Yeah. Yeah, man. I don't know. Man, man, if the season, if the season continue to look like this, man. Listen, it might be time for Bill Belichick. They might go to him like, "Listen, man. Now I mean, you done did. <laughs> now I mean, you done did a lot for this. Now I'm saying you done did a lot for this organization. Now I mean, now I mean, we never gonna forget mm-hmm. it. You know what I mean? You gonna be in the ring eye and all that. Now I mean, we gonna build. Now I mean, we gonna build statues outside of the stadium. But man, it might be time to. It might be time to move on. Now I mean, it might be time for a whole new. Now I mean, they need, they need a whole new like renaissance in there. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The whole thing just got to get, you know what I'm saying? No, man, whole new entire team, you know what I'm saying? Whole new whole new regime may, may need to come in. You know what I mean? So, yeah. so so that might be a tough spot for a man to be like, yo, man, he done, you know what I mean? He built a dynasty with us, man. We won a lot of times here, but yo, he, you know what I mean? He can't, man, it ain't no, it don't matter how good of a coach he is, man. If you ain't got the people, you ain't got the people. See, that's what I mean by, yeah, man, he had Tom Brady to help put that together too. You know what I'm saying? Cause now he don't mm-hmm. have that, so it don't matter. It don't matter how good of a coach you are if you ain't got the. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't got the talent. You know what I'm saying? You gotta you gotta wait with that having that type yeah. of time when Tom Brady was there. Cause Tom Brady was like your LeBron. You know what I'm saying? Now you ain't got that. Right. So now it's really starting to show that. Nah, dude, he ain't scoring. They ain't score a point, man. 
They ain't scoring right, points. Right. And it's not like it's not like it's not like they's playing the 49ers or something. You know what I'm saying? You ain't score yeah. a point. You know what I'm saying? You ain't score a right. point. Yeah, man. They gotta get rid of his general manager title. He's not picking the right players. The mad scientists don't got the right uh, chemicals and make the right, you know, formula. I don't fucking know, but I just think his receivers is trash, and he just don't know how to pick pick the players no more. He's he just lost it, man. And like I said before, maybe you gotta start cheating again, find a cheat code or some shit like that. He definitely lost his fastball, though. He ain't the same battle check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, man, they going to be – they going to be – they going to be bad. I mean, see, see, the thing is, you know what I mean? They might – I don't want to say – I don't want to say need to tank, but if you, if you, ain't, you ain't got no chance of getting Caleb Williams, man, or somebody, you probably going to be – you probably going to have no chance of being no good no time soon, man. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You probably ain't gonna have no chance mm-hmm. of being good no time soon. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 Now, unless you get your hands on somebody like Caleb Williams, where you're gonna be able to rebuild around him fast, I don't see. I don't even. I don't even see them being a factor within the next five years, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey. At, at least <laughs> at at least five years. You know what I'm saying? Mm. At, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't see them being a factor. Even like somebody to worry about for at least the next five years, at least. You know what mm. I mean? Because I'm like, who who are you gonna get? Unless you just find some, unless you just find some out of this world person that's like some four fifth round person, they and they end up being the, the next Patrick Mahomes or something. I don't see it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now 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 that could happen. Is somebody right who who probably feel like okay, they just they some mid-level dude or they some division two dude or something like that. You know what I'm saying? But you looking at him yeah. and he's like, you know what I'm saying? He going to be like a Patrick Mahomes type caliber player or something like that. You know what I mean? But he's some dude and he's sitting in, he ain't even in division one. He in division one or he in division two somewhere. You know what I'm saying? He out there at goddamn, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Cucamonga University. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? He out there. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Now I mean he out there, yeah. Cap Cucamon, he play, he play, yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? Now I mean, he yeah, play, I yeah. I mean, his eyes is very long, man. For that, I mean, they just looking bleak, man. They're looking very, really fucked up over there. But they had, they, they had their little time, so I'm not feeling bad for them. You know what I mean? Fuck, fuck the Patriots. They, they had their little time. So now it's other like time for other people to eat. I don't feel bad for Boston. Yeah, know what I'm saying, yeah, man. He might be like. Like, like, yo, where this kid from? Know what I'm saying? He's from uh, Southwestern Montana. <laughs> the uni- you know what I mean? Montana Ju- Juco. You know what I'm saying? Like, where? Right. Some place you ain't never right. heard before. Like, yo, where yeah. is he from? You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right, right, right. <laughs> yo, unless you find something like this on somebody from somewhere like that out of nowhere. That ain't nobody mm-hmm. that nobody even seen coming. I don't even I, I don't I don't know how you turn that around. No, I don't know how you turn this around. I mean this franchise around in the time that Bill Belichick is still here. So but I don't know. Mm-hmm. I mean, maybe he punched his ticket to the point that Robert Kraft, like, listen, man, he don't want so much for us. I feel like he gonna go out on his terms, and I'm saying it's up to him whether he wanna leave or not. I'm not going I'm not gonna push him out. Cause you no, know, Robert Kraft might feel that way. Like, I can't, you know I mean, I can't push mm-hmm. him out. You know what I'm saying? Now, I mean, he gave us like the greatest yeah. dynasty in like the NFL, so I can't, I can't push him out. So it's just up to yeah. him. You know what I mean? I just have to accept that until he probably feel like he he's done. You know what I mean? But you know, what I mean, we can move on. You know what I'm saying? I just, you know what I mean, I won't be too long with that. With that, but that just popped in my head because they didn't score a point. Like I was like, damn. Right. All right. Uh, next, we got Indianapolis Colts going to Jacksonville. Jacksonville is minus four and a half point favorites. Total was 46 and a half. Uh, Jacksonville just spent the last two weeks over in London. Uh, now they're coming back to the States. So I thought when you go to London, you get a bye week the following week. I don't know when they stop that shit. But uh, I think, you know, Richardson, he's not going to play for the Colts. But Colts, just, they just look all right, man. They, they, there's that ball from the Eagles, that Colts. He, he got them boys playing. 
So to Benji Kane, so they might be able to cover that four and a half. I mean, Garner Mission might be able to keep it in, keep it close. Mm. Um, but I really got no real opinion on, on this game. But besides it, besides I just said the vision and it might end up being close. Man, listen, man, that owner going ahead of Jags. Playing there like every other week, man. Like, come on now. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I guess come, like fans, come they don't care, I guess. I don't know. No, Jacksonville, I guess their fans don't care. No, nah, man. I'd be like, listen, man, come on, man. I don't know if that's – is that is that considered – okay, now, who is that considered a home game for? You know what I'm saying? Because they both can't uh, be considered a away game. You tell that? Because when it, when people go play – when people go play in London, how do you determine who's going to have the home – who's that going to be considered home in a way? You see what I'm saying? I mean, I always wonder they, that. They, they, they 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 do consider somebody at home. I don't know how they can figure figure it out, but it kind of works out though. Most of the time, I think this this these past few years with seventeen games, because they're gonna take away somebody home game, but they still will probably get eight and eight. You know, uh, eight home games anyway, because mm-hmm. it's seventeen games, whatever. But I know last week Buffalo was considered a home team, and week before. Jacksonville when they play Atlanta, Jacksonville was considered a home game, home team for that game. Okay. But I don't know how they come up with that shit, but it's kind of stupid. All right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, man. I feel like I don't know. They just feel like a game that's. I don't know. It's like they, it's like them team, them teams play play each other like every other week or something like that. It just feel like that. Like I don't know. You know yeah. what I mean? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I was just always wondering like. Like 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 how do you determine who's who's playing a home game? And if I'm if it's a home game, I'd be mad. Like yo, you take you know what I mean you send this over London. You know what I mean if I was people that live yeah. in that city, I'd be like yo, they going over London. Like you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? You take you kind of taking games from a person might want to. That's a home game. Might want to go to the game. If it was a away game, that'd be somewhere that we could have traveled to. You see what I'm saying? You know what I mean? To, to, yeah. to, play, to, to, to be playing games in London like that, which I understand NFL is, you know what I mean? It's all about spending your business and all of that. But, you know what I mean? I know I know some of the fans got to be upset. Like, you know, some people that like to go to the games, like to travel for the away games. And it's like, yo, we ain't going all the way to London. You know what I mean? So, you know. Yeah, for sure. For sure. You know, all right. All right. Uh, next we have Carolina going to Miami. Miami's minus 14 point favorites, totals 48 and a half. Carolina's second road game in a win. They still haven't won, won a game yet. Um, I mean, I don't know how anybody can really pick Carolina. I mean, it's just 14 point spread. That's a lot of points to cover. So I guess it's kind of tough. Um, I don't know. Miami should just air them out. Carolina offense is just so bad, man. I just. I feel bad for young boys. The offensive line not giving them time to throw the ball most of the, most of the time. Uh, Miles Sanders had a crucial fumble last week. He really ain't really looking like how he was on the Eagles. It's it's just fucked up down there right now. So I'm not going to fuck with this game, but if I did, I might have to pick Miami to cover the spread just because I don't see Carolina scoring on points mm-hmm. to, you know, Cover their end of the spread. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I mean, I mean, I mean, Miami probably might score at least at least thirty. To me, they might score yeah, like thirty that. points. You know what I'm saying? Score, score, mess around and be mm-hmm. like, score, mess around, and be like thirty to ten or something like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now, I man, would be surprised. This one of them games where. Like Carolina to cover the spread, like make a backdoor cover this shit. Like the game is over basically in the fourth quarter, and then Carolina score like yeah. ten points in the end. To yeah, cover yeah, the spread. yeah, 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 yeah. Now I may mean, mess around and, and the whole the whole damn game. Only had one field goal at the end of the game. He <laughs> fucking he he got them. He got the, he fucking scramble and run and run and get a touchdown, and that's how they got the ten. You know what I'm saying. The whole damn game yeah. only had like one field goal. You know what I mean? One of them type of games. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you're right. Mess around and score. Fucking <laughs> mess around and score when he got like goddamn two minutes left in the game when the damn game up. Mm-hmm. I mean, the game been over since the damn first quarter. <laughs> what was they scoring yeah, over yeah. three points the whole damn game? Goddamn Miami got fucking 35 points or something like that. And your ass score, 
know what I mean? Run around and scramble and run for a touchdown when ain't nothing but a minute and something left. You know what I mean? So yeah. when, when it when it when it don't matter. So yeah, yeah. So. Right. All right. Yeah. All right. Next we got New England going to Las Vegas. Las Vegas minus two of them half point favorites. Totals forty three. Um, you know McDaniel's going against Belichick. I usually like to go with Belichick against his former coaches. So going by that mantra, I'm gonna fucking ride out with the Patriots on this to win a game. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't like McDaniel's at, at all as a coach. Mm-hmm. Um, Patriots, even though they look just suspect, I don't know. I just I'm gonna go with the whole fact that Belichick know McDaniel's and he gonna cook up something. To win the game, mm-hmm. and I'm just going by that there. Yeah, 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 man. I don't. I mean, I mean, this game as far as as far as like watching the game viewer wise, man, that joint probably be a dumpster fire, man. That joint press around probably be like fourteen, like yeah. f- like like fourteen <laughs> ten or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Or ten thirteen or something like that. You know what I mean? It probably be some yeah. game you like, yo, I ain't watching. yo, they put this on TV. You know what I'm saying? No, I, I don't think they did gonna put that joint on TV. You know what I mean? I don't think so. I think they're going they're gonna do the joint like, yeah, we're gonna go to something more competitive. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, yo, right. we're doing the joint like, yeah, yeah, we're gonna take y'all to something more competitive. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I think right, that right. I think I think that game gonna be a dumpster fire, man. I think it's gonna be it's gonna be some game. Yeah, I think I think the Patriots are gonna end up winning, but I don't think it's gonna be no super spectacular fun game to watch. Man, the joint mess around be 10-13. Mm-hmm. 10, 14, you know what I'm saying? Some game like that, where it's like the whole game, it was like, man. You know what I mean? The only people that you got to be diehard fans that want to sit there, fans of them teams that want to sit there. The casual fan that ain't fan of them teams ain't going to even care to watch that game. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, right. yeah, I, mm-hmm. yeah, 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 I feel the same way. I think I think they're going to win the joint, but it's going to be a joint that you ain't even going to, ain't anybody going to watch. Yeah. All right. Speaking of more highly competitive games, we got Detroit going down to Tampa Bay. Mm-hmm. Uh, both these teams, I think, got one losses. I believe uh, Tampa Bay only got one loss. Right, because the uh, Bucks stops here. The Bucks stops here. <laughs> right, right. Thanks to y'all. So the Bucks, they are no the Detroit. They are minus three three point favorites. Total is forty three and a half. Uh, at this time, I already got no opinion. I don't know if the receiver for the Detroit is going to play, St. Brown. Um, yeah, the total-wise, I got no real strong opinion on it either. But it's going to be a game where Detroit can show that they're ready for real. Baker, this game to show that he's ready for real. It's, just, it's going to be, a, I think, a good, close game. Both teams can really show that they're um, – this year they're going to be a formidable threat to people. So I think it's more important for Detroit to go out there and, and win this game than Tampa Bay. I think Detroit got to just put their foot on these uh, um, opponents that they're going to be facing in the upcoming weeks mm-hmm. and just really show that they're uh, they're going to be a team to fuck with. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, it's really a coin flip for me, man. Who going to win? I wouldn't be surprised if the Bucks win because I think Detroit they just scored like they scored like forty two points or something like that, didn't they? Scored like forty two yeah. points, right? I think they go. Yeah. I think they're gonna come back down for a little bit, and I think I mm-hmm. think I think Jared Goff gonna he might he might throw a few interceptions. Mm-hmm. I, mean, I think I think this might be the game where he might throw a few. Now I could now yeah. I might be wrong, but I just got a feeling about that. You know what I mean? I got a feeling that this, mm. this, this, this is a game where he might throw a few and that's going to be the reason why they lose. You know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? I think, okay. I think, and I think Baker, Baker Mayfield, it's just, I don't know. I just think like he just, he got his like second win. You know what I mean? Kind of like got his, you know what I mean? Got his second win in the NFL. And I just feel like he going to do, he going to do, he going to do decent this season. I ain't saying he's no type of Super Bowl contender or nothing like that, but I think they're gonna be decent this season. I think I think the Bucks should win that one. Now I mean the Bucks should okay. win that one. Now I mean because I think Jared Goff is gonna be the Jared Goff that the Rams was like, yo, we ain't gonna be able to get it done with him. You know what I mean? I think it's gonna be that because it's times where he you can see where the talent is at. Then it's times where mm-hmm. it's like, but sometimes he just like 
he just like digress. You know what I'm they just regress. Like so, I just think I think this is the game. Don't not. I mean, don't be surprised if he if he, if he throw a couple of interceptions this game. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So okay. I'm just saying. I mean, don't be surprised. He just throw a couple for some odd reason. Just throw a couple of interceptions this game. You know what I mean? But if they do, okay. if the Lions do come out there and dominate, then they'll let people know like. No, no, I mean, this ain't no fluke. We really building something over here. You know what I'm saying? So, so right. now, I mean, this is a game that they, they do need to make a statement. But for some odd reason, Jared Goff is – Jared Goff got a lot of time. He got all the talent in the world. And just like some reason, it's, it, I mean, just some games where he just like – he just takes steps back. So, you know what I mean? Right. Now, to me, this might be a game we take a few steps back. Maybe like, dang, he, not, he threw like three interceptions in the same game, man. How that happened? You know what I'm saying? Or, or it might mm. be a couple interceptions, and then, you know, somebody might slap the ball out of his hands, fumble. You know what I mean? Like that. It might be a game like that. You know what I mean? I wouldn't be surprised if yeah. it was a game like that. So, yeah. Okay. All right. Next, we got Arizona going to Los Angeles to play the Rams. Rams is minus six-point favorites. Total is 47 and a half. Um, Arizona have been very good against the spread this year. They lost the last two games by the spread. And they might be coming back down to reality. Um, division game, always usually close. I think the Rams should win this game. Uh, but that spread might be a little high. Arizona might be able to cover that six-point spread. Uh, I also kind of like the over over total points of 47.5. I think L.A. will get, get some points on them. I think Arizona will get some points on Los Angeles. So. I'm gonna go over Arizona to cover the spread and then tell them to go over. Okay. Um Yeah, man. I I watch what I mean watching the Eagles play the Rams. Man, Cooper Cup is back. And they got the uh the other the, the other young boy's name, Puka. Some shit. Yeah, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Know what I mean? So they kinda like they kinda like the same dude. You know what I'm saying? They got two people that's kinda like the same. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. They, right, dang, right. I mean, they dangerous. You know what I'm saying? You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Yeah, man. They they dangerous. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I'm expecting them to win. I'm expecting the Rams to win because they got them now. Now, like I said, Cooper Cup is back. So now you got them running all around the field too. You got people that just run mm-hmm. all over. They just got, they just, they just, they just run all they, they remind me, not to say they is as good as the old Rams, you know what I mean? Greatest show on turf. But how they receivers was, yeah. where all the receivers was like the same. They could all run the same type of route. You know what I mean? You gotta worry about so many okay. people. You know what I'm saying? You gotta worry about so many people, man. Listen, by the way, that um that uh that movie about Kurt Warner, that joint actually came on TV. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, yeah. That, you seen it? Man, I was not watching that. I watched like 10 minutes of it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was like, yo, they actually made this movie, man. Listen, man, shout out to but <laughs> Actually made the jump. So I'm like, yo, what movie is this? Then I looked at it. I'm like, oh, this is the jump about Kurt Warner. No, nah, bro. Oh, I'm, I, I mean, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but. Don't um, play Kurt Warner. Ain't, ain't the boy that plays his no? I think it was because I was like, cause I, was, I, I think that was it. Cause I'm like, <laughs> I'm looking like, yo, what? Because I thought it was Shazam. I'm like, yo, what part, what part of Shazam was this? Oh, no, this is, this is the Kurt Warner joint. <laughs> <laughs> oh so man! Like, what part of Shazam is this? God, I, damn. I, mean, I, mean, I, don't, I don't remember this part. You know what I mean? Yeah, it ended up, it ended up being that, John. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, yo, like, yo. You, you know that movie? That movie got to be rated PG, man. That ain't Kurt Warner, he ain't church ball. You know he ain't got no curse words in his joint, no sex scenes, none of that. Oh that no, shit. no, 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 That shit got to be no, PG, no, man. No, 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 no. Nah, 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 nah. Ain't gonna be nothing like that in there. Nah. Yeah, he got a Hallmark Channel. That's that's yeah. that's, that's definitely a yeah. Hallmark Channel movie. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. Nah, I mean that's a joint for the for the holidays. You know what I'm saying? You put that joint on <laughs> for the holidays yeah. and watch with your family. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now I mean, that's a joint that be on Christmas Day. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Right, right. <laughs> the Christmas Day joint. <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> the joint that be on Thanksgiving and all that for the football games come on. Be on the Hallmark channel. Right. Yeah. Be on Thanksgiving. That's the come on Thanksgiving. That joint. The Kurt Warner story. Yeah. <laughs> the true wonder dog. Whatever right. it is what it's called or something. Something like, like that. that. <laughs> one of them joints. And one of the other joints like Sean Don't Sean Payton like got a movie. 
Like this, 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 I, I, yo, yo, what Jordan said about Sean Payne? I think Sean Payne got a movie too. One of them coaches got a movie about their life too. Oh hell no! Something was crazy. I can't be no Sean Payne. I can't stand that boy. I definitely won't see that shit. Yeah, that yeah. boy. Yeah, I think that Jones. Dick Vermeil, man, you talking about him? Dick, Dick Vermeil got one. Oh no, I got to oh, check. Vermeil had one. I got to check. I got to check and see. I think it's a movie about. If I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, it's about Sean. It's, it's based on the life of Sean Payton, I think. You know what I mean, the people you out there let us know. know. I mean, the people out there let us know if I'm wrong. You know what I'm saying, now you let me know what it is. Oh, but I'm pretty right. sure it's based on the life of like Sean Payton or somebody. I think I, I, I'm pretty. I think it's Sean. I think it's based on the life of Sean Payton. You know what I'm saying? Something yeah, like I that. Think. You know what I mean? They, they made a movie out of whatever was going on with him, but you know, so. Mm mm Yeah. All is, that, right. is that the last game? <laughs> Nah, we got three more. The last right. four thirty game is uh Eagles going to Meadowlands to play New York Jets. Eagles minus six and a half point favorites, totals forty two. Um Eagles just keep winning. Jets trying to turn shit around. Um, uh, but you know, I just think the Eagles just too dominant for the Jets. And mm-hmm. yeah, I mean, I can't see the Jets doing anything with y'all. They ain't fucking with y'all. Mm-hmm. Um yeah, man. Um, I completely agree with that. I think because 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 the, because the Jets won though, right? The Jet the Jets just won, yeah. Right? Didn't they? Yeah, man. So uh-huh. now I mean they got they win, so I don't feel like that's gonna be a trap game for us because they just won one, so they can go right back to losing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I mean I'm expecting them. <laughs> now I mean I'm expecting us to to just to kind of like roll over them. Now I mean by the time the second quarter come, they probably ready to hit the showers and go home. You know what I mean? Once we Dang. score, like, you know what I mean? We score, like, if we score probably three touchdowns by like, the second quarter, you know what I mean? If we score at least two, if we score two touchdowns in the first quarter, and by the time we get to the second quarter, if we score one more time, they're going to be defeated by the second quarter. They're going to be done. Yeah. You know what I mean? They gonna know be... Wilson can't score that many points for them. They know that. Yeah, you know what I mean? He can't do it all by himself. Plus, you know what I mean? The man can't catch the ball. He can't throw the ball to himself. You know what I'm saying? So no matter how good you catch the ball, you know what I'm saying? We ain't, you, know, you can't can't get him the ball. You know what I mean? It ain't gonna yeah. matter. So like I said, you know what I'm saying? We should we should go in there and just be able to handle business. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the NFL is any given Sunday, but we should go in there and just handle our business. You know what I mean? Plus, you know what I mean? Shout out to um shout out to running back. We got Swift, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now we putting in that work, you know what I mean? Plus, Plus, that's a dope jersey, though. The number zero, that's dope. They need to make that joint the, the Kelly Green joint. They made that joint Kelly, mm-hmm. the Kelly Green joint with the zero on it. I ain't seen nobody mm-hmm. with that joint yet. I ain't seen nobody with the Swift zero, the Kelly Green joint. I see a lot of people with the, the Jason Kelsey joint on there, the Jalen Hurts and all that. Nah, y'all got to get, you know what I'm saying, the Swift with the zero Kelly <laughs> Green joint? Oh, man. Okay. Know what I mean? Or the white joint. Now I mean the white joint with the green with the zero, the zero the Kelly Green zero. What? That come all crazy. I might have to get one of them joints, man. That's just a dope. Yeah. I mean that joint that 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 joint just looked dope to me because his number is zero. You know what I'm saying? I mean that just oh, looked yeah, dope I love to that me. Number. I mean that just looked I love dope that to number. me. Don't like the colors. Don't like the colors, but yeah. I like the number. Yeah, and I mean that just looked dope to me on on the jerseys like the number zero. You know what I mean? That mm-hmm. just, yeah, so. Yeah, so, you know what I mean? Yeah, man, we should handle business. Now, I mean, ain't much to talk about with that one. You know what I mean? It's us, man. You know what I mean? Brotherly shove. You know what I'm saying? Unstoppable. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Un- 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 unstop- unstoppable play. You know what I mean? So, you mm. know what I mean? Enjoy it while it lasts, people, because you already know they're going to find a way to say we can't do that. We only we only people that can execute that, John. They're going to be like, it's not fair, and they're going to find a reason to say we can't do it. You know what I mean? You <laughs> know what I mean? So, I hear you. So, so I ain't gonna be surprised if they be like, "Yo, we can't do that." They, they, they try to make up some reason that is that is unfair. We can't do that. Some type of unfair advantage or something like that. I'm not gonna be surprised because other teams, I mean, they, they try to do it and can't and can't do it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they can't perfect no, themselves. Man. Well, they can't cancel it this year. So you got a whole another year yeah. before they could cancel yeah. that play or some shit. Just sit back and enjoy the win. What Andy Reid say? Just yeah. enjoy the win, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah man, yeah, yeah, man, just sit back and enjoy the shove. You know what I mean? <laughs> just sit All back right, and enjoy the shove. Pause. Pause. <laughs> sit back and enjoy the shove. Pause. Oh, shit. Oh, man. All right, we got the Giants. They're going to Buffalo. 
<laughs> and uh, Buffalo minus 14 point favorites, total is 45. Uh, we don't know the quarterback Daniel Jones going to play. Uh, we don't know Barkley going to play. Do it matter, though? So right now, <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, I, I, that's a lot of points. 14 points, a lot of points, man, mm-hmm. from spread. I'm not saying Giants going to win, but that's a lot of damn points. And Dave Bowl, he going back to Buffalo where he used to coach. Mm. So he might roll up his, his boys, and, you know what I mean, they play hard. I guess pause, <laughs> but uh, I just um, I don't know. It all de- I I think it do depends. Barkley plays, and they might be able to run the ball and keep the ball out of Josh out of hands. And Josh out of might turn the ball over. I don't know. I just hope, like you always say, I just hope Giants lose. And um, uh, it depends if Barkley and Jones play. That fourteen points is a lot. That's all I'm gonna say. It's a lot of points. So mm. okay. Yeah, man. I think with the with the Bills, the Bills lost, right? With the Bills losing, yeah. I think they're gonna be back with a vengeance, man. So mm-hmm. I think I think what's gonna happen is, I mean, I think they just going because you seen how like Stephon Diggs was kind of like upset. So I think they going to kind of like mm-hmm. try to make sure he get the ball, which that could be to the detriment if you're trying to just force somebody the ball to make them happy. You see what I'm saying? Oh, now, yeah. Now, I mean, mm-hmm. at the same time, you're just trying to force somebody, you know what I'm saying? You're just trying to force somebody to ball, ball to him because that because he's upset in the loss. So now it might be, all right, we got to make sure you get him the ball. You know what I mean? No, the game just got to flow. You know what I mean? And if he get it, yeah. he get it. He don't, he don't. You know what I'm saying? You try to force feed the ball, that ain't going to always work. You know what I mean? Now, now we did see that work with the Bengals. You know what I'm saying? Because Jamar Chase was upset and they kind of like, Force, you know what I mean, he just forced him the ball. You know what I'm saying? They just made sure he got the ball the, all, the whole game. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But that ain't going. But but that but that could that could backfire on the team too. You know what I mean? So right. So I mean, I do think they're gonna win. But um, you never because like I said, they may not. If that that's the game plan, that could blow up in their face. You know what I mean? You never know. That could right. be the, that that could be the upset of the year. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? They, you know what mm-hmm. I mean, he must have beat, beat the Bills. I'm like, wow, well, they was trying to force feed Stephon Diggs the ball, you know what I mean, the whole game. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And they, they, should just, they should just work their game plan, but they just their game plan was just try to get him the ball. So you never know, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Sometimes that could go to a detriment, even though people did see that work with the Bengals this week because they just you know I mean? they just threw the, they just threw the Jamar Chase the whole game. You know what I'm saying? They made sure they threw him the ball. Now he got three touchdowns, but – you know what I'm saying? So in, in that scenario, that in that situation, it worked out for the team. You know what I mean? Trying to make sure one certain period person get the ball a lot. But you never know, mm-hmm. man. You know I mean? So, you know, man. Okay. Like I said they should. You know what I mean, they should win, but you never know, man. Any given Sunday, man, you got an upset of the year in your hands. You'd be like, well, how'd that happen? You know what I'm saying? Right. Well, well Josh Shelley, man, mm-hmm. that that's that was uncharacteristic. He threw three interceptions. You know what I'm saying? Like just constantly trying, you know I mean, right. trying to force feed the ball to Stephon Diggs. You know what I mean? You never know. Like, oh, that's so uncharacteristic of him. You know, I don't think he ever threw two <laughs> interceptions in the game. Yeah. You never know. <laughs> right. All right. Uh, last Monday night game, uh, Dallas won the L.A. Chargers. Dallas two and a half point favorites. Total is 49 and a half. Uh, Dallas going up against Kellen Moore. Uh, he's an offensive coordinator for the Chargers. So I think um, due to the Bears middle of last week game and don't knowing more, um, I think Dallas will – I think they'll win the game and cover that spread. And I think it might go over that 49.5 points uh, total. I think Dallas will try to score a lot so that the offense is not uh, suspect. So I like the over. I don't think Dallas will cover the spread. But as I said last week, I've been wrong in every Dallas game I picked. So – if you're betting against me on Dallas games, you coming up every week. So okay. hopefully this trend will end this week because I'm picking Dallas to win. I want them to win, and I'm picking them to cover this two and a half point spread. Um, who are they playing again? Chargers. Yeah, they playing the Chargers. Okay, okay. Um, whew. um, I would want, of course, I want the Chargers to win, but I think Dallas is going to bounce back. I just think this just gotta be mm-hmm. a bounce back game for him. That's all. You know what I'm saying? That that that's just it. I think it just gotta be a bounce mm-hmm. back game. You know what I mean, that's the, that's that's the reason why I'm picking them to win. Is I think they just gotta bounce back. 
I don't think it's going to get that bad for them. Where not, not many going to win. I mean, they're going to lose back to back like that. I don't think that. But um, and then did the char did the, the, the charge the Chargers play yesterday? Um, when did they play? No, they 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 off this week. Okay, that to this they they got a bye week this early. Yeah, they ain't playing yesterday. Okay, well, dang, I don't know. I mean, they coming off the bye week, but. Man, that's up in the air then, man. If they coming up the bye week, man, and they might be getting some rest. Now, I mean, it might be wrong, but I but you saying they 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 was on their bye week already. Um Yeah. That's kinda up in the air, man. But I don't think that Dallas is gonna lose back to back. Unless it's like a close, super close game. You know what I mean? Somebody kicked the field goal with them with no more time left by time running out or something like that. I wouldn't be surprised if it's a game like that. That's the only way I see Dallas losing if it's a game like that. I don't think they're just going to go in and get dominated like, you know what I'm saying? Dominate like like how San Fran did. I don't think that's going to happen two weeks. That's, that's not happening two weeks in a row, I don't think. I don't feel. But the only okay. way I see Dallas, you know I mean, not bouncing back and losing this game if it's one of them Jones like, you know, end of the game, they go down and, and, and kick the field goal type of situation like that. I don't think it's just going to be like, mm-hmm. Dan, like, like, Dan, he lost like that two weeks in a row. Man, that's crazy. Something going on there. I don't think it's gonna be bad like that, but um, that Jones like I mean that Jones like a coin flip to me, man. I wouldn't be surprised if either team won, you know what I mean? But no. I do think Dallas okay. should 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 win this game. Just I mean I mean just based on it being like oh it just gotta be a bounce back game, you know what I mean? That's all. Right, right. I agree. All right, that's the last game of the week right there. Okay, you know what I mean? So 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 for all y'all, you know what I mean the um. I mean, man, good luck with, you know what I mean, y'all, y'all, y'all bets and y'all picks. Let us, of course, let us say this, you know what I'm saying? We did not make up these spreads, these gambling eyes, none of this stuff. You know what I mean? All this stuff you is, is public record that you can look up from Las Vegas. You know what I'm saying? This this is not, these are not numbers we made up. You know what I mean? So, 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 so don't, so don't blame us. You know what I'm saying? We just reading to y'all with public information. You know what I mean? It's not nothing we made up. So, um, you know I mean, just got to get that out there that, that that you know, and then when, when we say who, this is our opinion. We say who gonna win or lose. And I mean, the numbers don't have. You know what I'm saying the numbers don't come from us. Now I mean, we just say who we think we gonna win or lose. And then um, what else was I gonna say? Win or lose. So man, I mean, good luck with y'all saying. And then at the end of the day, shoot, to the time even without the recap is just about almost the same time that the show is about the same time <laughs> that it would be when we did the recap. You know what I mean? Ain't, ain't, yeah. nothing but a, ain't nothing but a few minutes shorter, maybe ten minutes shorter. You know what I'm saying? Oh, wow. So, yeah. So I thought, no, no, I mean, I thought the gentleman without the recap was only gonna be like maybe like forty minutes. Now I mean, we still hit up, still hit like an hour and thirteen. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, so we decent. You know what I'm saying? So like I said, you know what I mean, and then once again, you know what I mean, as my brother say, you know what I mean, we record early through the week. We don't record. It ain't like we record Friday and put it out Saturday, or we put, or we, or we, or we put it out. Yeah, we. I mean, we don't do it like Friday, put out Saturday, or record early on Saturday and just put it right out. We don't do it like that. So during the week, these numbers could change. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so, so numbers that he's saying now, by the time the end of the week come, we put this episode out. Some of these numbers could change. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So now I, mean, I just want to say that, like I said, now I mean, thank you for all the um, for all the success and all that. Now I mean, y'all really enjoy this show. Thank you for all the success. Now I'm saying. Uh, everything that I'm doing, and uh, you want to say something uh-huh. to the people before we go? Uh, just good luck, to everybody. Uh, bet responsibly, and just good luck. Make that money. All right. Yeah, and I mean, um, like to say, I mean, thank y'all. I mean, please continue to uh, like, share, support, um, rate, review, and all that. Now I'm saying everything starts with the Earn the Night Soul podcast. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to um. My co my co host um earn, you know what I'm saying, will take care of all the technical stuff and all that type of stuff for it, you know what I mean? So even though he not on these shows, he's uh-huh. a part of still a part of it, you know what I mean? So um I just say, man, thank y'all, man, you know what I mean, and good luck. Like I said, y'all ain't went to recap, uh-huh. but you know what I mean? The, the, you know what I mean we, we still get y'all decent the show was still you know I mean, a decent enough time, you know what I'm saying? Like it, it cut it down like a half hour or something like that, even without the recap. So you know what I mean? It's safe to say, you know what I mean? If y'all with the recap, you know what I mean? The show, the show can still flow without the recap, as I can see. You know what I mean? But other than that, you know what I mean? Right done, man. Cause the world is yours, you gotta, you gotta get it. No love, no love, no love. No love.
No love, no love, no love No love, no love, no love No love